Hey what's up guys today I'm going to show you how to install Arch Linux for beginners so I have already made a video on installing Arch Linux but this is an updated video where I try to cover things which I missed in my previous videos so without wasting any more time let's get started. So after booting into the Arch Linux USB you will see something like this and if you are using ethernet connection then you are already connected to the internet but if you are using a laptop then you need to connect to Wi-Fi. So to connect to the Wi-Fi, type this command IWCTL and after that type the command device space list and you will see the Wi-Fi card on your laptop. My Wi-Fi card name is WLAN0 so after that I am going to type station WLAN0 scan and after that I am going to type station WLAN0 get dash networks. It will list all the Wi-Fi networks available in my area. So I am going to connect to my network so my network is glx-5g so i'm going to type station wlan0 connect and then my wi-fi name and after that type your wi-fi password After that type station WLAN0 show and it will show the connectivity status as you can see I am connected. You need to replace WLAN0 with your own Wi-Fi adapter name. After that type quit to exit out of IWCTL and also type clear to clear out the terminal. Now type ping space google.com to check the internet connection. So if you are getting these responses then you are successfully connected to the internet press ctrl plus c to exit ping after that type time date ctl space set dash ntp space true to synchronize your time zone to set the correct time so type lsblk to see the list of your drives in your computer and if you have multiple drives it will show up like this now in this video i am going to install arch linux on a whole disk so if you want to dual boot i have already made a guide on dual booting arch linux which you can watch after you have watched this video so after you have identified where you want to install arch linux type cf disk slash dev slash your drive block number in my case it is nvme 0 n1 now i'm going to delete all the partitions in this drive and make a new partitions for arch linux So from the free space create a 1 GB EFI partition for Arch Linux. After that create a 8 GB partition with the type as Linux swap. After that, use the whole remaining free space and leave the type as Linux file system. This is going to be our root partition. Now after that, if you type lsplk again, you will see the newly created partition in the list. You will also see their block number as you can see my EFI partition is NVMe0N1P1 which is created under NVMe0N1. Now we need to format the EFI partition as FAT32 so for this type the command mkfs.fat space dash f32 space and then your EFI partition block number in my case it is slash dev slash NVMe0N1P1. After that, format the root partition as ext4 by using command mkfs.ext4 slash dev slash nvme0n1p3 which is my root partition. Now I'm going to use the second partition of nvme0n1 as swap partition. So for this, type the command mkswap space slash dev slash nvme0n1p2 which is my swap partition. And after that, 
I'm going to type swap on space the swap partition block number now we need to mount our root partition in slash mnt directory so I'm going to type mount space your root partition block number and then space slash mnt now we need to mount the EFI partition into the boot directory so for this type the command mount space dash dash mkdir which will automatically create the slash boot partition space slash dev slash your EFI partition block number space slash mnt slash boot now we are going to install the base arch linux system so for this type the command packstrap space slash mnt space base which is the base arch linux space base dash devil which provides the development utilities space linux which is the linux kernel itself space linux dash firmware and linux dash headers space nano and space vim for text editors space network manager to connect to the internet space blues and blues dash utils to enable bluetooth now it will take a while to install the system depending on your internet connection speed Now we need to generate our fstab file to make our computer know where our Arch Linux partitions is located. So for this type gen fstab space dash capital U slash mnt give double greater than signs and then slash mnt slash etc slash fstab. Now after that we need to go into the newly installed Arch Linux system by typing the command arch dash ch root slash mnt now we need to set our time zone by typing the command ln dash sf slash usr slash share slash zone info and if you press double tap you will see the list of continents choose the correct continent mine is asia and give forward slash and then press double tab again and you will see your city and after that type your correct city and then space slash etc slash local time after that type the command hw clock dash dash systohc to synchronize your hardware clock with the time zone now type nano slash etc slash locale dot gen to set the language now find the line which is en underscore us dot utf dash 8 space utf dash 8 and uncomment the line by removing the hash in front of it and press ctrl plus o to save and press ctrl plus x to exit nano. Now type locale dash gen to generate the language and locale now type echo space under double quotes lang is equals to en underscore uf dot utf dash 8 two greater than symbols and slash etc slash locale dot conf to set the language now type echo under double quotes type your host name and then greater than symbol slash etc slash host name to set the host name for your device now after that type nano slash etc slash host to configure the host file and you need to type whatever i am typing on my screen
now after that type passwd to set the password for the root user and after that type user at dash m and then type your username and after that type passwd space your username to set the password for the user now type user mode dash small a capital G space wheel storage power audio and type your username to give user necessary permissions and add user to specific groups now type nano slash etc slash sudoers to edit the sudoers file to enable sudo privileges for the user Now find this line and uncomment this line by removing the hash symbol in front of it and press Ctrl plus O and then Ctrl plus X to exit. Now we are going to install the bootloader. You can either install systemd boot or grub bootloader. So for this video I am going to install systemd boot because it is best for a single boot and you don't need to install any extra packages. So to install systemd boot type boot ctl dash dash pad is called the slash boot and then space install. Now type nano space slash boot slash loader slash loader dot conf. Now at the bottom of the file type default space arch dot conf and press Ctrl plus O to save and Ctrl plus X to exit. Now we need to create the arch.conf file so type nano slash boot slash loader slash entry slash arch.conf inside the file type the following title space arch and go to next line linux slash vm linux dash linux init rd space slash init ram fs dash linux dot img and after that options is equals to root equals to uuid equals to and for this you need to type control plus t to open the command and type blk id space and then your root partition block number and it will generate the uuid for the root partition now copy the root uuid by pressing ctrl plus k and go to the above line where uuid equals to and then paste the uuid by pressing ctrl plus u After that, press space and type rw space quiet and delete the below line by pressing ctrl plus k. Now save the file pressing ctrl plus o and exit by using ctrl plus x. Now we are going to install video and audio drivers. So type pacman s space xorg and if you have a nvidia card you need to type nvidia space nvidia dash utils and nvidia dash settings and after that type pipe wire and then pipe wire dash pulse
so to use Arch Linux we need a desktop environment so you can install multiple desktop environments like GNOME, KDE, XFC etc for this video I'm going to install GNOME so to install GNOME you need to type the command pacman s gnome So finally we have installed everything we need to run Arch Linux. Now it's time to enable some services at the startup. So for this type systemctl space enable space gdm which is the gnome display manager which is the gnome lock screen and after that space network manager which enables to connect to network. After that, type systemctl dash dash user space enable space pipe wire, which is the audio service. Now type exit and then reboot, and it will automatically reboot into the newly installed Arch system. And if it does not, then you need to change the boot priority in the BIOS menu so that Arch Linux has the first priority. So as you can see, we have successfully booted into the newly created Arch Linux system. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.